So in the last few years, you may have heard headlines like this. Breakthrough amino acid may be the key to reversing aging. Is taurine the secret to living longer and healthier? For someone interested in staying sharp, strong, and independent as we age, this sounds like something you don't wanna miss, right? Especially if you're over 40 and you're starting to feel these little things like slower recovery, more fatigue, joint stiffness, and so on and so on. What if there's a molecule already in your body that just needs a little bit of a boost? But there's a twist. What started as a promising story in 2023 has become uh, a lot more complicated in 2025. Today we're discussing taurine, what it is, what the research really says, and whether it deserves a place in your supplement stack or just left on the shelf. Taurine is a conditionally essential amino acid, meaning your body can make it, but not always in the ideal amounts. Unlike amino acids that build muscle, taurine plays a support role in systems critical to your health. It regulates electrolytes like calcium within the cells, supports nerve and heart function, protects against oxidative stress as an antioxidant, helps maintain mitochondrial function, and plays a role in immune response and even brain development. Taurine comes from two places. As we mentioned earlier, your body makes it from amino acids like methionine and cysteine, and you get more from foods like meat, fish, and especially seaweed, if you eat seaweed. And as you probably know, it is contained in many, many different energy drinks in varying quantities. In 2023, a very popular study made big waves in the anti-aging longevity community. The researchers noticed that taurine levels appeared to decline with age in mice, monkeys, and humans. So they asked, what happens if you supplement with it? In mice, taurine supplementation actually led to very impressive results. 10 to 12% longer median lifespan, 18 to 25% longer remaining life at 28 months, improved bone, muscle, brain, and immune function, less DNA damage, and reduced cellular senescence. Health span and lifespan both improved. Even monkeys showed signs of better overall health. The idea was very intriguing. Maybe low taurine isn't just a symptom of aging, but a driver of aging. That study helped frame taurine as a potential anti-aging molecule. And you know, everybody went crazy on YouTube and social media and all that stuff talking about taurine. But as we've seen in other situations, science doesn't stop with just one study. And in 2025, new research offers a more complete and more complicated picture. In June of 2025, a new study published in the Journal of Science challenged the assumption that taurine levels decline with age, at least in humans. This study took a more rigorous approach. Instead of just comparing young and old subjects, it tracked individuals over time, a method called longitudinal analysis. They looked at mice, rhesus monkeys, and over 1,000 humans aged 26 to 100 across three large geographically diverse cohorts. So what did they find? Taurine levels did not consistently decline with age. In fact, in most groups, especially humans, taurine levels actually increased or remained level stable during adulthood. And this was a direct contradiction of the earlier research. So it's just confusing, right? Only male mice showed no change. And the biggest factor wasn't age, it was individual variation. There was more difference between people than there was within a person as they aged. Put another way, people differ more from each other than a single person changes over time. And when the researchers tried to uh, connect taurine levels to actual health markers like body weight or muscle strength, the links were inconsistent. That means higher taurine serum, serum levels didn't reliably mean better health, and lower taurine levels didn't necessarily mean worse or faster aging. I've been working on my grip strength recently and I got this thing. It's called a digital hand dynamometer. Got it on Amazon. It's a tool for measuring your grip strength. You turn it on, press the start button, and then you squeeze it really hard for like three seconds. And then it tells you your grip strength. It's really cool. Hey, if you liked today's video, please remember to subscribe. I'll put a link for this down below. Thank you. 
So what do we do with this? Here's the big takeaway. Taurine might still be very helpful, but it just doesn't appear to be the universal aging cure that we all hoped for back in 2023. The 2023 study showed that boosting taurine could help aging mice and monkeys, and that's meaningful. But the 2025 study reminds us that humans are more complex. We're not mice and we're not monkeys, even though some people behave like rodents or monkeys. Now here's what we can say with confidence. Based on overall research, taurine supports clinical systems like metabolism, heart function, and mitochondrial health. And it may help with specific conditions like inflammation, oxidative stress, or poor metabolic health. Supplementation appears to be safe for most people, but age alone doesn't predict taurine deficiency and levels very widely. This research doesn't negate or nullify or erase other research showing benefits of taurine. It just provides evidence that taurine levels in the blood is not a reliable longevity marker. Taurine might be useful, but it's not the, like many other things, a one size fits all solution for everyone. So should you supplement with taurine? If you're healthy and eat a whole foods based diet that includes animal proteins, your taurine levels might be just fine. But there are situations where supplementation might make sense. You're older, have signs of metabolic stress, you follow a strict vegan or vegetarian diet, you're recovering from illness or injury, you engage in intense exercise or endurance training, that last one, that one's for me. I need all the help I can get. In those cases, taurine supplementation may be helpful. Taurine is still very promising, but like many other compounds, its effects depend on context, your age, genetics, health status, and especially lifestyle. If you decide to try taurine or continue to take taurine, it might be helpful to know that in clinical trials looking for the benefits of taurine supplementation, a dose of 500 milligrams to 6 grams per day has shown to be effective in improving metabolic markers. Studies involving exercise have used doses of 1 to 6 grams per day. And of course, it's always best to talk to your doctor first, especially if you have pre-existing conditions or you're taking medications. So, is taurine the magic bullet for aging? Well, not quite. It's a valuable molecule and it may help it may help extend healthy life in animals and it definitely plays a role in how we respond to stress, illness and exertion. But in healthy humans according to recent research, taurine levels don't drop predictably with age. And based on this new research, boosting them doesn't guarantee longer life. If you're interested in longevity, taurine might be one tool but it's not the entire toolbox. Remember to focus on proven fundamentals for your foundation. Movement, sleep, stress management, a diet rich in nutrient dense foods. As for supplements, I'm still very optimistic about taurine and I plan to include it in my supplement stack. If you wanna know more about my current supplement stack, you can check out this video right over here.